channel channel my space to share inspire and encourage my name is Denise and this is earth vlog number 65 it is a special episode and I'm so excited to be here with you today um, February is the or February marks the second anniversary of the no fear sock knitting class online right here on my channel. It has been two years since the launch of the first class, which was on February 1st. And yesterday, wait, what's today? The 11th. <laughs> um, and it's also the two year anniversary of the launch of my first pattern, the No Fear Shorty Socks pattern. So milestones. Um, I am so excited about two very amazing years, um, two pretty successful years, if I may say, of teaching sock knitting and sharing my love of sock knitting with all of you. Um, I can't thank you all enough for your support, uh, for watching, for your comments, interactions, your questions, for everything. And it's been an incredible ride. And I'm just, I'm beyond proud of it. The, the number of sock knitters, um, that have graduated <laughs> from this uh, from this class has just it's mind blowing to me and the number of you that I get um, messages from and comments from here in the channel in emails in DMs on Instagram just um, thanking me for being a part of your sock knitting journey means so so much to me um, I'm just I'm really really proud of all of you. <laughs> Um, all of you that are sock knitting and enjoying it and facing your fears and asking really amazing questions. Um, it's, it's just, it's been, it's been amazing. So to celebrate all of that, I have decided to launch a new series. <laughs> I could almost feel like the collective, oh my gosh, <laughs> um, it's going to be called Sock Shorties, and it is going to be, they're going to be a series, another series of short tutorials relating to sock knitting, but not detailed tutorials, like a step-by-step -step, the way I did my original No Fear class. This is going to be geared more toward, now that you know how to knit socks, what's the next step? This is taking it to, to the next level and providing you with more information and skills and techniques and tips and tricks to take your sock knitting to another level and also to build your confidence. That is really, really important to me. Um, I get a lot of questions that are, how do I say? Um, it's, it's almost like the sock knitter is afraid to take the next step. Like they already know the answer, but they just want it to be confirmed and, and sort of validated for them. Like, am I on the right track? I think I'm on the right track. So these, this new series is going to give you the tools, give you the confidence where you don't even have to ask those questions anymore because you'll already know what to do. So we're going to be covering, you know, I wrote everything out because if you've been following for a while, you know, I write things down. Um, we are going to be talking about um, different types of cast-ons, alternative cast-ons for your socks, not just a long tail cast-on every time. Um, so alternative cast-ons, how to wash and block or not block your socks. Um, how to use various knitting tools, how to use sock blockers, how to use stitch markers, progress keepers, sock rulers, all of those things, those, those questions that I get, and I can answer the question in a message, but I thought it would be really helpful to put it all here on the channel for everyone to view and, and interact with and to use. Um, yeah, it's taking it to another level, everyone. So, um, also I'm all, and there's going to be more, I mean, that's just like the tip of the iceberg. There's going to be a lot of those. Um, and another thing I want to do as part of this shorty series is sort of a choose your own sock adventure. Do you remember those books um, when you were growing up? Like it was sort of a mystery book and you, and you read different parts, but then you could skip ahead to different chapters and create your own story as you go and sort of pick your own ending. Well, I'd like to do a version of that here and it's going to be um, how to cut and paste the bits of information that you see out there from various sock patterns or that you read about in in 
online or in books and things like that, how to take all of that information that's out there and how to cut and paste it into knitting the sock that you want. So for example, there's a heel flap and gusset, there's a short row heel, there's, there's an afterthought heel. How do you cut and paste all of that? And while I've talked about those things here and there, again, these classes are going to be specific and topic driven so that all of that information will be in one video, one place, you can click on it, there are the answers to your questions. Uh, so how to pick a different cast on, how to substitute heels, how to substitute toes, how to lengthen or shorten a sock, um, how to, if you've got a basic vanilla sock and you're really feeling adventurous, how to plug in a simple pattern, how to plug in a simple, not a pattern, but a texture, if you wanted to do ribbing all the way through the sock or, um, you know, throw in a small cable, something like that. So we're going to talk about all of that. And another, two other really big things. I've gotten a lot of questions about how to customize the shadow wrap short row heel. So we're going to be covering that as well um, for different sizes. And while I do have sizes in the original pattern, how to customize it to really fit a sock for you and also how to customize it for a different weight of yarn. Um, the other thing also, while I'm not going to do a specific toe up class, because I really, I'm being 100% honest, I don't feel that I am, I have the skills enough. I understand how to do it in my own head and I can, I can knit a toe up sock without a problem, but I don't feel confident enough to teach it to you. And there's so many other teachers and knitters out there that have done it so much better than I could do it. As I gain more confidence and more experience, maybe I will add that here to the channel. But right now, what I do want to share is how I knit my toe up sock. So it will not be an in-depth tutorial, but it will answer some questions. Um, can you do certain heels toe up that you knit top down? How do you know when to start the heel? So answering little questions like that. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, I'm, I am, oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm glancing down at my notes because I don't want to forget anything. Um, I'm going to try to upload, life permitting, I'm going to try to upload these on Fridays, not necessarily every Friday, but on a Friday. That way you have the weekend to sort of play with the video, play with the technique or play with the topic um, and uh, take some time because it's, I think it would almost be a tease if I uploaded during the week because most people, many people are working and they have other obligations. So it's like, oh, I want to watch the video, but I, I don't have time. So I figure if I slip it in on a Friday, it gives you a little bit of time to just sort of take your time and enjoy it over a weekend. And in between the tutorials, I will still be here um, vlogging and sharing and being goofy and silly and being me, <laughs> my own earthy self. So that is what is happening. That is my announcement. I am beyond, beyond excited. I, like I'm really trying. I, here I am, go again. <laughs> I'm really thrilled about this. I wanted to do this last year, um, but it just didn't happen because I was doing so much teaching and um, had so many other commitments and things to do. So this year, there's a little less public teaching and a little bit more, as I said, my intention was to put more here on the channel. So stay tuned for lots of fun things. They are coming sock knitters, they are coming knitters. And some of the techniques that I will be talking about here are not exclusive to sock knitting. You can take those and apply them to, to other areas of knitting, to sweater knitting, to hats, to cowls, to anything else. It's just understanding, learning knitting, since it's such a broad topic, can be a little intimidating. So this is going to sort of narrow things down, make it a little more topic specific, um, and gather the information, learn the information in bite-sized portions <laughs> instead of, you know, a textbook that's this big. You know what I mean? I think it's always easier to get information in smaller doses than, than trying to cover an entire plate at once. So that said, I am going to put it out there to you to please in the comments, let me know if there's a specific topic that you'd like to see me talk about. Um, something that's just like a burning question that you've had. Uh, I will try to get to as many as I can. I, I'm going to say now I will not get to all of it. Um, 
I don't have an actual end plan to this. I'm sort of going to add on as I go. So that is what I wanted to share here with you all today. Um, it is Friday, February 11th. Uh, so the first video will be up by next Friday. Ugh. So excited, so looking forward to this new chapter of and and series of sock shorties. Uh, thank you again to everybody that has watched and been here with me on the channel and um, shared your experiences with me, sh tagged me. Please continue tagging me in your posts on Instagram. I love seeing your socks. I love seeing your progress. There are a lot more of you than there. I'm. There's one of me and a gazillion of you. So. Please don't ever take it personally if I don't see your tag or don't see your comment um, or don't always get to reply to a message, but I do try my best um, to get to as many as I possibly can in the course of a day and life. So thank you so much for following along. Look forward to the new series, Sock Shorties. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Thanks so much, everybody. Um, lots of fun things to come and I will see you all again really soon and next week with written really soon with a new vlog and next week with the first sock shorties episode thanks so much everybody bye